Well, hello. Here we have a Sony Xperia Z1 that has finally received uh, what looks like the Android update for 4.4.2. It doesn't say that on here. I will download it. Let's download it. So after that's downloaded, I'm going to do my usual thing and run an Antutu test before and after the update and we'll see what sort of performance increase there is or not, as the case may be. Well, here comes the update. It's taken quite a while to download, about uh, five minutes so far, but it's chugging along now nearly at the end. So we're going to see what update this is in just a second. So it would appear that Sony are not going to tell us what this update is, but I would imagine it's the 4.4 KitKat that we have been waiting for. Uh, I'm just going to run the Antutu test quickly and then we can install this up. Okay, here we go as usual. Optimize memory first. Well, I know there's only one app running, so I'm just going to run it with. There we go. I'm not going to video this test because they're ultimately very. Well, here's the result, and I'm quite surprised it's as low as it is, because here it is at 25,000 and a half, and um, it should be somewhere up near the Z Ultra here, uh, which has the same Snapdragon 800 chipset. So I'm really quite surprised it hasn't turned out better than that, but, um, you know, we haven't got power saving on. I don't know why it's so low. Anyway, we're going to install the KitKat update now, and uh, hopefully that's what it is. Seven minutes to complete, okay. I'm not going to film all of that, so I'll just uh, let you see it starting. Okay, we don't get an update progress. Oh yes we do, here we go, it's shutting down. So, uh, hopefully this will be KitKat, hopefully the phone will be faster after the update, and um, I'll show you the Antutu benchmark result afterwards. It's quite interesting to note, actually, that Sony are the last of the major manufacturers of smartphones to update their flagship device from 2013 to Android KitKat. Um, this is now mid-April. Um, the Galaxy S4 was updated at the beginning of April, and the HTC One was updated back in March at some point. So really, Sony have hung on a bit. Um, the only phones that I have now that are not running on KitKat that should be are the uh, Galaxy Note 2 and Galaxy S3 of um, 2012. So we'll just have to wait and see if they actually do get their upgrade. They've been promised, but uh, whether it happens or not is a different story. So anyway, at last Sony have got their act together and put KitKat onto this phone. Let's have a look and see what it's like. Well, we're still updating. This is a good five minutes later. Um, Sony say that this process takes seven minutes. Well, it's, uh, it's definitely taking all of that. Well, here we are, we're rebooting. Fantastic. So, we get a different boot screen. Okay, so it's doing the app optimization, which always takes a few minutes. Last few apps finally optimizing here. And we should get our first proper boot. Okay, I've not seen that one before. NFC firmware update. Well, the battery symbol's very different. About phone. 4.4.2. There you go. Built Thursday, March the 20th, but it's taken a good three weeks to get down to us. But there we go, it's updated, it's on KitKat, it's running the latest version of Android, and we hear rumours that um, a new version of KitKat is about to be launched. So it's taken them quite a while to get this one out, it came out last summer, um, but here it is, we are running the latest version of Android. Excellent. Now, we'll wait for it to finish downloading all of these apps, which are all the new Google versions, and then perhaps we can run Antutu and get a benchmark speed. And what's the boot time like? Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34 to the lock screen. And we are running straight away. So 34 seconds to the lock screen, that's not too bad a boot time. Especially considering it hasn't done one like this before with this new operating system. We'll run the benchmark and hopefully it will be faster this time. So 25, 5, 4, 1 last time. Test again. Um, yes, test. We'll come back to you when it's... Right, I'm just running this up so we can see the 3D graphics performance because the frames per second rate is quite of interest to most people. And we're running 40, 43, 44, 50, 52. That's quite a high frame rate. Very good. Very smooth. So this will probably have quite a high benchmark, much higher after putting the KitKat on than it did before, well, I hoped. There we go, 28256, so probably about, um, well, 7 or 8% faster after that than it was before. Hmm. That could be, of course, due to the fact that there was a lot of stuff in the memory, uh, or it had a lot of apps running in the background. So... We don't know for sure whether it really was faster or not, but that's that's a nice speed improvement. Very good. OK, I think she'll be happy with this now with the updated software on it. So thank you for watching. Please see our other videos and don't forget the monthly prize draw if you are subscribed.